Using cycling-specific shoes has a wealth of benefits when it comes to power transfer as well as pedal stroke efficiency, but if you consider you're essentially locking yourself in to one of the bike's three main contact points, that's of course the saddle, bars and the pedals, you've got to make sure you're getting things right. With your foot in your shoes, feel along the inside of your foot for the large bony prominence at the base of your big toe. Use a marker pen to mark its position. Do the same with the outside of your foot for the prominence at the base of your little toe. Take off the shoe and draw two parallel lines across the base of the shoe. The first straight across from the first mark and the second from the second mark. The midpoint between these two lines indicates the fore and aft position for the centre of the cleat. Once you know the fore and aft position, if you position the cleat in the middle of the shoe based on this, you'll have a neutral setup, which is a good place for the majority of riders to start, especially if you've chosen cleats and pedals that offer a reasonable amount of float. However, look at the way you stand and walk. If you tend to have your toes pointing out, slightly rotate the alignment of your cleats to allow for this. Similarly, if you have a toes in stance, rotate your cleats to accommodate this. We're all different, so although a neutral setup is a great starting point, your biomechanics and or injury history may mean that it needs tweaking. Signs of rubbing on the crank or inside of the shoe may mean that you do have a duck-toed stance and along with rotating the cleat, you may need to use a spacer to increase stance width to accommodate this. Don't forget, we're not symmetrical. It's not unusual to have different cleat setups for each shoe. Take a picture of the position of the cleats on your shoes or draw around them with a marker pen before removing. Don't just rely on the manufacturer's guidelines and grids on the bottom of the shoe as it may not always work for you. Click up here for British Cycling Strength Exercises or down here for the British Cycling 20 Minute Warm Up.